Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and today we're back with more One Piece trading card games. Today we're going to open up six romance boosters. I already have the top open, but don't worry, I did not peek. Uh, so really quick, I ended up getting these at my local game store. It was Legends over here in the States, if you guys know that. Um, these are really, really hard to find. Uh, physically, right? If you go online, a box is like 120 to like 180. They they really mark up the price. So MSRP is around 4.99, I think. But this one was 7.99. So would I recommend it? Absolutely not. You know, there's no rush to get these things. As a matter of fact, unless you want to play the lottery, yeah, okay, get these. Other than that, get some starters, go online, and just buy the singles that you need. But anyway, let's see what we got here. I have not previously opened up any one of these before, but in a future episode, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys everything that I pulled from this booster pack opening and the other one I did the other day, which was the World's Strongest set. I think there's only two booster pack sets out right now. This one and the World's Strongest. I could be wrong. I haven't really looked, but um, we'll probably get those and we'll try to modify some of our starting decks. But anyways, let's get started. All right, so I'm excited to find some leaders. Hey, Shinobu. Okay, this is a simple card. Three, five, one thousand counter. Okay, okay. All right, we got Kurozumi Higurashi. Two, three, and another counter. He's a blocker. This is a pretty solid card. I think it's a pretty good purple. We got Hajudin. Oh, the giants. All right. 4-6, 1,000. Eh, he's not terrible. I think I would use this over the Frankie one, right? I, th I don't know. I think the Frankie one is like is exactly like this, except there's no counter on it. Opening a whole box. Hey, what's up? No, um, I just got six boosters right now. I got six. I don't know if I ever want to buy a box. Over, over here, a box is like 120 to 180. It's so expensive, man. All right, this is a three-cost green B-Bang, B-Bang, main. You may trash one land or Wano type card from your hand. So if you know it's Wano, it's going to say it right here, right? Yeah, let's see. So trash one from your hand. Set up one of your land of Wano type character cards with a cost of three or less as active. So basically on your turn, if you want to try to get another attack or another effect that would cause it to rest, you use this. So you get rid of two cards. This card plus another card you have. So it's a little expensive, but you know, there it is. <laughs> it's Bellamy. Oh no, is that Sanji? 2, 4, 1,000. Pretty decent actually. Pretty decent blue. Alright, here we go. One mana. This is an event card called the Green Star Reflesia. It's a counter card. Give up to one of your opponent's leader or character cards at negative 1,000. So there's one exactly like this. It's the chopper card, right? However, the chopper card is it gives one of yours 3,000. So this one, I think it's a little weaker. Unless I'm maybe I'm getting the numbers wrong on the chopper one. But if this is 2,000 to choppers plus 3,000 for one of yours, it's a little iffy. But uh, I don't know. I'll have to go check. Okay, we got the 5-7 uh, Giant as well. Also a counter of 1,000. Babanuki. Pretty strong. Next up, we got Demon Face Events. Six cost green. Main, KO up to two of your opponent's rested characters with five or less. No trigger or anything, but it's an extremely strong card. That's pretty good. Hey, we got another Frankie card. This is a different version, though. Three, four. So this is weaker than the uh, the base one in the ST01 star starter set. Dawn one. This character can also attack. Oh, what? This character can attack active characters. I feel like this is absolutely a hundred percent going in, like my my red deck, my Luffy deck, right? The, 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 this is the first time I've seen this ability. You can attack an active. That seems really good. Okay, we got Mr. One, Daz Bones. 2-3 with a counter of 1. 1 Dawn on your turn. If your leader has the Baroque's work type, this character gains 1,000 for every 2 events in your trash. Interesting. 2 events in your trash. I mean, it's got potential. I mean, if you can't get this thing to power up, at least you can use it as a counter. Next up, we got a foil... Bartholomew Kuma, 4-5 and a counter of 1,000. Not bad already. He's a blocker. Cool. Okay. 
and when he gets KO'd, play up to one pacifista with four or less from your hand. So honestly, it's strong, but you probably don't want to play unless you actually have uh, unless you actually have pacifistas. This is my first box. Yeah, I've never opened up any Robance Dawns before. This is my very first time opening these ones. I've opened up six pack of the world's strongest one. I did that like, like last week, but this is my first time buying Romance Dons. So this is 6-6. Six, six. Yo, Kinemon. Ooh, look at this. Nice. Is this extended art? This is extended art. Sweet. Okay, on play. If your leader is Koz uh, Kozuki Odin, hmm, okay. play up to one of the Akaza 9 character cards with a cost of three or less from your hand. Okay, so okay, so pretty much if you have the leader, you get to play another type of card from your hand. Dawn 1, one attack, you once per turn. Set up one of your Akaza 9 character with the cost list three is active. Pretty strong. It's a little weak for the cost, but then the ability, two abilities absolutely make up for it. And then we got a basic Dawn. One Piece Film Red, uh, if you want to use that, I guess. Cool, so yeah, so we pulled this. So I'll go ahead and set these aside so we can look at them later. So that was only one pack. There's 12 cards in each pack, but one of them is a Dawn, right? Anyway, let's see what we got. Ooh, Kerito! Okay, two, three, counter. Trigger, play this card. It's decent, all right? First pack, yeah, that was the first pack. Five more packs left. Uh, five, seven, counter. Straight Virgo. Navy, Don Quixote, Pirates, and Punk Hazard. There's a Punk Hazard archetype in this game. Interesting. Bao Huang. Okay, 2-3, 1,000. Decent already. On play, choose two cards from your opponent's hands and they reveal it. Okay, so pretty versatile. Pretty versatile. Then we have Inu, 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 Inu Arashi, 3, 4, 1,000. Dawn, 2 when attacking. Any decent from the previous? I, um, I think so. I'll, 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 I'll show you right now. I'll show you after I finish this of what I got from the other one. I got like a decent card of like... Oh, I'll just show you. I forgot the name of it. Dawn, 2 when attacking. Set up to one of your Dawn cards as active. Hmm... It's a little expensive. You have to put two of these on here, but then you can use one as active to play something else or put it on a character. So it's got the versatility there. Okay. Oh, this guy's cool. Bartolomeo. He's a blocker. 2-2, two, two, 1,000. Let's see your ability. Blocker and Dawn 2, opponent's turn. Wow. So if you are able to play two Dawns on him, that's already 4,000, right? And then, as soon as it hits your character's turn, 7,000 blocker. It's not bad. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It doesn't keep it. It doesn't keep it. It, it doesn't work that way. You don to... Yeah, 5,000. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I thought. But it's still strong. It's still pretty good. But then... No, but then... If you attack, you can't block. So you pretty much have to just put it on this guy, and then you wait? You think it's a nice card? Yeah. It's pretty good. So yeah, you, you can't attack unless you re unless you set it as active, and you can't block. Hmm, weird. All right, we got an event. Two mana officer agents. Counter. Play up to one Baroque type character card with three or less from your hand. It's a counter. This is probably good if you can get out a blocker, huh? But the the trigger is nice. The trigger is nice. If you plan it to use them as a strong blocker, yeah, use two done. Penguin. 3-2, the hard pirates, of course, is a blocker. 3-2 blocker. On play, if you don't have Shachi, search up to a Shachi. I don't know if I have a Shachi yet. <laughs> have I pilled one yet? 4-5, Brook. Alright, 4-5, Brook. Dawn, when attacking, give up to two of your opponent's characters, negative two, during this turn. So, how does this work specifically? Does this work on their leader? No, right? It would say character or leader. So the reason you want to use this is if there are blockers. Otherwise, what else are they going to do? Because, you know, right? Oh, blockers or if they're rested to attack. Sorry, yeah. 
So if they're blockers or arrested to attack, give them two. So that means you maybe hit one with negative 2,000. The other one should stay negative 2,000. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty cool card. I like it. All right, we got the event for two. Artificial Devil Fruit Smiley. Okay, look at five from the top. Play up to one smile type with three or less. So on the bottom right, you have to have a smile deck. And if you trigger it, activate the main. Next is a Kaido. Here's a leader. Oh, hell yeah. This is my first dual leader card. So if you guys don't remember, if you dual leader, you can have both colors in your deck. However, you have one less life. It's the same power. This is pretty cool. Kaido. Yeah, we might end up uh, making a blue purple deck then. Do I have blue purple? I have blue. Do I have a purple deck? I don't remember. I'm still looking at all my decks. Anyway, Dawn once per turn. When your opponent's character is KO'd, add up to one Dawn. Oh, so you kill this terrain. You use this, kill something, and then you ramp up a little bit. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. Now, here's what I'm not sure. It doesn't say on attack. So maybe you place one Dawn on him, and then you can KO any enemy during the rest of the turn, and then it will work, right? You don't have to specifically attack. You just put the Dawn, and then you can do it. If that's the case, more versatility, this is a good card. Jinbei. Got a nice little foiled Jinbei. 4 2. Wow. Really, really uh, expensive for how weak it is, but. Jinbei, place up to one character with a cost of three or less at the bottom of the owner's decks. So you're basically flushing them out. So it's a removal. Okay, sure. You primarily want to use it as removal too. Mm, okay. Next we have Uta. Uta. She's from the film. I didn't even watch this, this movie yet. 4-4 four, four, on play. Add up to one red character other than Uta with a cost of three from your trash to your hand. Okay, so this specifically is like a trash ability. Hmm, okay. We got a regular Dawn. Boo, regular Dawn, boo. Alright. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, we have a lot of... Dude, two packs is already quite a lot of cards. Okay, we got four more packs, guys. Four more packs. Okay. Alvida. Skinny version. <laughs> two, three. Two counter. Hmm, that's pretty good. Buggy Pirates. Dawn 1. When you attack, trash one card from your hand. If you do that, return up to one of your opponent's characters with three or less to the owner's hand. Okay, so this is decent, but it goes back to their hand, which means it's not completely removed, but they can still play it later. It's it's decent spread of stuff, especially the counter, so not, not too bad. We got Speed. New character. 2, 3, 1 counter. Pretty simple, however, trigger to play it. I don't know. We got another carrot card. We've seen this already. Jean Bart. 4 6 1. Basic. Good spread, though. Okay. We have um, uh, Hyogoro. 2 3 1 counter. Active. You may rest this character. Up to one of your leader or character cards gains 2,000 during this turn. Not terrible. I can see this being, being pretty powerful. If you actually have, like, another character with an ability that you really need to get off during an attack, right? Alright, next up, it's Elephant Marchu for 4 cost. Purple. Up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 2 or less. So you KO, and then you ramp up. It's a pretty good card. A little expensive, but that's why it has the trigger on it. Okay. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Mocha. Punk Hazard. Mocha, Mocha. 3-5. She's that strong. Oh, I guess she's a giant, kind of. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's weird. <laughs> Alright, Mr. 3. Alright, 2-3-1. Uh, On play. If your leader has the Baroque's work type, so, you know, we have... Uh, like, what do we have? I don't even know. Is Crocodile Baroque's work here? Select, two, select up to one of your uh, opponent's characters with a cost of 4 or less. That cannot attack. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Paradise Waterfall, one cost, event, green. It's a counter. Up to one of your leader or character cards gains 2,000. Then set up to one of your characters as active. This 
is really good. This is really good. But this is a counter. So, the I can see this being used on a blocker, right? During this battle. So, the battle happens and then you do that. So, you can use it on the battle on the on the blocker you have now, or if you know they're probably going to try to attack somebody, set them an active. And the trigger is pretty strong. So, this is a really sick card. Nice card, nice card. Otama, ooh, zero damage, 2,000 counter, but what do you do? Give up to one of your opponent's characters negative two power this turn. So, basically, you're only playing it for the counter, or you're playing it for the unplay. It can't really do much after that. I mean, you can give it, like, a couple of dons, but that's a lot of resources for this. We have a little bit of a foil Usup. At least the, 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 here. Two, three, 2,000, so pretty good. What is this freaking photo? This picture, dude. All right, here we go. Dawn, your turn once per turn. Draw one card when your opponent activates an event. So this is good. If you know they play a, like a huge amount of events. A lot of the starter decks come with like two to four, right? So it's, you know... <laughs> I feel like if anyone's making like really good competitive decks, they're going to have a, a crap ton of events because they're really good. So this is good later. Like really good later. Ooh, we got a regular crocodile. We got extended art, 7-7, seven, seven, 1,000. He's a blocker. Give blue events in your hand, negative one cost. This is pretty good. I wonder if you could ever make it zero cost. I don't know how that works. But anyway, that's pretty sweet. And a basic dawn. That's pretty good. Thanks, homie. Yeah, he's pretty sweet. So, if you have four crocodiles in your deck, I wonder if you can have them as long as they're different ones. I don't know. Like, can I have a fifth crocodile? <laughs> but it's this version? Probably not, right? Alright. We got three more packs left to open, man. Alright, here we go. We got Scratchman Apu. Four, th four six, one thousand purple. Pretty basic. Dude, this was like 55 bucks. I have legend, man. Ugh. It's so, I hate, it's so expensive. But... Whenever I go to Legend, they always have it. That's the thing. When I go to Target, it's never there. When I go to Game Castle, it's almost never there. And I don't always want to call them. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I should, though. Because I'm spending money. Two, four... Okay. Sai. It's from the uh, Ahapo Sui Army. He's actually a good spread. Good spread. Not bad. Not bad. Kanjuro. Two, three, one. Green card. He's a, look, he's the Akaza. Dawn, when you attack. KO up to one of your opponent's arrested characters with a cost of two or less. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. You can use it every turn. On KO, your opponent chooses one card from your hand, trash it. So, this is a self-trash. Basically. Hmm. I haven't really found a lot of good cards to actually make a self-trash deck yet, so who knows. Okay, we got it. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit of a teaser. Look at that. What is that? You see that? A little bit of a... Oh, what the fuck's that? We'll see. Three, four, purple. Uh, hold them. Hold these nuts. KO. Add up to one dawn from your deck and rest it. Okay, so this is a ramp. It's a ramp. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. Not bad. You could be my samurai event. One cost. You may rest up to two of your characters to draw two cards. So I feel like in this game, draw is extremely, extremely important. I feel like this is a top tier card, but uh, you know, I haven't seen like a lot of the library yet, but I feel like draw is just too good, especially cause you're not actually destroying any characters, you know? Yeah, you're resting them so they can't attack and they're susceptible to damage, to taking hits, but damn, draw two cards, man, what the, it seems really good for one cost. We got Mocha again. Marco, 3 5, 1000 counter. Good spread of stats. Good spread of stats. Pretty good. Arlong, character card. Wow, cool. 4 5, 1000. What do you do? Dawn 1 active. You may rest this character. Choose one of your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals it. If it's an event, place it on top of their life cards on the bottom. Place up to one card from the top of their. Oh! <laughs> so, once again, just like the Usopp card I mentioned. There's not many event cards in starter decks, but if you play with someone who is competitive, they might have more than a couple, and this could work out. So it's like, 
it's like not the strongest, but the if the effect activates, you you hit him. You know, you 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 do damage. It's good. Next is Izo. Three, three, Izo, on play. This is pretty. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what the on play is. Rest up to opponent's character with four or less. Good if you want to just like knock him out or get rid of a blocker, huh? It's not bad. I can see this being good. Next up, we have Sasaki. Three, it's a three purple for four. 2,000 counter. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Dawn, when attacking, you may trash one card from her hand. Add up to one Dawn card from her down. So this is another ramping card. And you can do this multiple times. Dang. I feel like ramp in this game is extremely powerful, right? Because you, it's not just mana. It's counter. And it's damage. So ramp could be crazy. Alright, next is overheat event. This is a foil. Two mana blue. Alright, it's a counter. So, well, up to one of your leader or character cards. Gains 4,000. That's strong for two. Um, then return up to one active character with a cost of three or less to the owner's hand. Huh. Okay, so here's the thing with this, right? It doesn't say may. Someone gets 4,000. And then you return one. So do you have to do this? So does that mean you have to return yours or theirs? What if there's no um, target on the field? Can you activate this one? Because it's then. I don't know how this works. But it seems pretty good. And if you trigger it, you just do that one. Yeah, I don't know if triggers are actually like 100%. Because if you can't target your opponent. Because it doesn't say specifically your opponent. I might have to look this one up. Oh, <gasps> character Zoro. 3-5 Rush. Ooh, ooh, super rare. Ooh. I feel like it's a May. I feel like it should say May if that's the case. I'll have to look it up. Because the wording is extremely important. Because if it's May, this is pretty good. This card's sick. All right, anyway. We got two more packs left. Okay, we got a uh, we already got a Higurashi, pretty good blocker. We got a Shinobu again. We got Caribou. We haven't seen this one yet. Three, four, one thousand on KO. Up to one of your opponent's characters with four less. It's a pretty good card. It's decent. It's decent. I like that ability. We got Krieg. I feel like he deserves more. Just deserves to be more than just this. He used to be a... Nah, she's kind of shitty. 4, 6, 1,000. Basic blue. Krieg, pirates. Nothing crazy. Elephants, Marchu, we've seen. Here's a new one. 2, 3. Oh, we already saw the dog one, huh? This is the cat. On play. Rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 3 or less. So, uh... Like, small spread. Okay counter. Good ability, you know, surprise attacks, etc. Okay, look at this one. 6-8. This guy's strong as hell. Fukurokuju. Dang. You know, I haven't even watched up to uh, Land of Wano yet. We're still stuck on the mom. Um, big mom. We're watching One Piece now, though. So we're kind of, we, we catching up a lot. Okay, one. Green Star Reflesia. This is an event card. Reflesia. Counter. Give up to one of your opponent's leaders or character negative 2,000. So it's, it's it's decent, right? It's decent. It's a one cost. It could turn the tides. It's decent. Gordon. 2-3, two, 2,000 counter. From the film. On play, you may place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck to draw a card. Um, It's good. It's a cycling card, right? So it's a good ability mixed with a decent counter. So you have to think, what do you want to use it for, right? Yeah, I guess if you have a really, really bad hand, yeah, I guess play it. Next is a one cost zero damager, Komurasaki, 1000 counter. On play though. Okay, here we go. You may rest up to three. Uh, no, you have to rest three. If your leader is Kozuki Odin, set up to one of your Wano cards with a cost three or less as active. So this is a what the hell am I supposed to do with this? 
Yeah, so you play this for one, and, but then it's really a four cost. What the hell? It's weird. This is a weird card. Like, like the value isn't that great. You know, I don't know. Queen, another foil. Six five one thousand. Queen. Okay, on play. Dawn. You may return one of your dawns back to your deck. This gains rush. Then you give up to one of your opponent's characters negative two this turn. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. All right, only on play though. Only on play. That's the thing. Is this thing not focusing? Focus. Focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Yas Queen. Is it focusing? Hold on, let me check. Maybe it's just that card. Then we have Okiku. Why is it not focusing? Come on, come on. Come on. It's kind of auto focusing. There you go, it's doing better. Okay, 3 5. Good spread. Dawn, when attacking once per turn, rest up to one of your characters with five or less. Hey, this is a pretty good card. It is pretty strong, I think. Come on. There you go. Alts or secrets? I don't know. Any one of those? Like, I, I'm putting all of them in, like, a little pile here. Like, the foils and stuff. I got one more pack, and then I'll show you all of them. Okay, we have Kamayachi. One, three, one. Uh, pretty decent beat beat downer, right? Nothing too crazy. Pretty decent beat down. Pacifista. Hey, we got a Pacifista. So honestly, you can make like a like if you have four of these, you get four Bartholomews, you can get something crazy, right? Under the rules of the game, you may have any number of this card in your deck. Yikes. And it's a blocker. Good god, you can have a million of these, huh? Cavendish. Four five. On play, add one card from the top of your life to your hand. So you're hurting yourself to gain rush. Hmm. I mean, you know, it could work. And so we already seen the Inarashi. Our third Mocha. Mocha. Second Marco. Another one of these. We got the Brokes Works events. Hey, look, Robin's here. Okay, one cost. Look at five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Baroque's works other than this one and add it to your hand, then place the rest at the bottom. So it's a cheap one. It's a cheap search, right? It's a cheap search for more Baroque's cards. Okay. Next is a new one. We got Rizo. Three green, four damage, one counter. When attacking, if you have two or more rested, draw a card. This is a good card, once again. The, the setup isn't the worst. Yeah, it's pretty good. Artificial Deborah Fruit, we've seen. Alright, we got a Don Quixote foil card. Check this out. Alright. 3 4. He's a blocker. On play. Look at the five cards and place them up to any order. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Decent good card. Good card. We have Dracul Mihawk. Ooh, baby, 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 look who we got here. Ooh, let's go. Nine. Nine. That's the first, the highest cost I've ever seen. On play. Place up to one character with a cost of seven or less at the bottom of the owner's deck. So this works 100% with the crocodile deck, dude. Jesus Christ, sickles. Amazing. As the last card being this Dracula Mihawk. I'm pretty happy about that. So these are all the foil plus. This is all the, yeah, these are all the uh, regular cards. So we got a good amount. I can really customize some of my starting decks now. All right, so, oh, that's amazing. Really like the Mihawk one. Uh, the Zoro one's pretty sick. This new, oh, the Crocodile's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kinemon, Bartholomew Kuma. You asking for my leader? Hold on, where are they at? Yeah, I got one leader, and I'm really excited to make a deck out of it. Check this out. I think I put it in here. Yeah, the Zoro. 
I'm following the the Reddit, the one P, the TCG Reddit. Everyone complains that the strongest card in the me the, the meta deck right now is like a Zoro deck. I think he's a leader card, right? Where is it? Where did I put that card at? Where did I put it? There it is. It's unfortunately no n uh, no alter secrets. Check this out, Kaido. He's purple blue, so I'm gonna make a purple blue deck. Check it out. Once per turn, when your character is KO'd, when opponents add up to one. So this is good because he doesn't have to attack. No, I didn't get a sealed box. Just just six six loose packs. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. We're gonna make a deck out of this. All right, so that's it for the video. If you're watching on YouTube, come by Twitch. Sometimes we're gonna be opening this on stream. See you guys next time. Bye.